students of BRS Global School who have a futuristic vision and they are uh, wanting to be innovators in their own space where they are excited to share some of the views and ideas with us. Are you all excited? Yes! Okay. And tomorrow is going to be an important day for them as the school reopens for them officially. Could I know what you're planning to do tomorrow? The session on robotics. Yeah, you're trying to see, connect to your creative part of your mind and showcase them something which you love to do it, right? So all of you like freedom? Yes! Having saying freedom, in other way we say them has, uh, in other words, creativity. So could you tell me what creativity means to you? Yeah, being innovative, thinking of new things. Maybe ma making and discovering new things. I'm also sure you want to have this creative space in the classroom. So could you tell us like how STEAM or robotics is going to make difference to you in the classroom? We could learn subjects from music. Uh, so many are trying to answer it. Let me ask somebody here. Yeah. We could learn subjects from music, like maths by music, numbers. We could go through music. STEAM education helps us thinking practically and implementing it in real life. So you're trying to say that my ideas are getting shaped and converted in some form. But do you believe that sometimes ideas fail in mind but not in reality? No. 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 Can I know what is future stored for you? Food which would maintain peace. I think she was trying to talk about a country with no border. Car which doesn't pollute the air. Yeah, you still like to move with an, uh, at ease, and but you also want to take care of the environment. A machine which corrects the papers easily, fast, so that the, our results will come so fast. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> teachers get tired of correcting each and every papers. So I personally love pets and especially dogs and my parents don't appreciate that idea of getting a dog okay. so I'm on a robot which looks like a dog has actual feelings and sound and everything and all those fur but it's not exactly a dog which I would like to call a buddy bot Wow so you're trying to also have a ro robot which acts you as a friend and companion for you in, in times where you think you cannot really have a like for example as she was mentioning about a dog Robot where uh, which writes our exams instead of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very sure how many people are going to welcome this idea, but exciting ideas. Uh, but I'm sure I, all of you want to have robots in different f forms. But I'm sure you also want to have your friends and human beings around. I know you are very excited to build things for futuristic uh, yeah. problem to solve. But I'm also know there are a lot of challenges involved to build things. Yeah. I'm sure some of you, in, turn, in in case you tried cooking at home, you know it is not very easy to cook food. Yes. It, it really needs a lot of ingredients to buy and you need to know how to do it, right? So even cooking is one form of tinkering, right? Yes. So now, why do you think it is easy and difficult to tinker and what blocks it? So, if you want to build something, you need to have a basic idea of it. And then you need to get all the parts, understand its mechanism, get put in all the energy, time, and then your ideas have to be innovative. Something out of the box and, and something like out of the standard units and something, you know, you have to think a lot about it. Okay. In other words, she is trying to say there need to be an ecosystem like a school, uh, like a uh, like a company which can help you to bring things to closer to you. So you understand to do something to build uh, like a prototype model and then try to see it. So, so you may feel scared that what if the outcome is not good as we put so much time and so much effort in it. Mm -hmm. So that that was blogs about. Okay, there's a fear factor she's talking about being fail, failed and failure. Uh, but I'm sure I want to give you a message that uh, there is no organization or company or there is no person in the world who wouldn't have failed in some ways or other ways. Um, I mean, it is okay to fail, I feel. And I'm sure you will learn this as you move on in life. And it is okay to understand. I'm sure uh, uh, some of us make rotis really interesting at home. We have different shapes. So it is okay to be, have a different shapes of things and uh, uh, in the same way it is, uh, it is okay to overcome these fears as you move on. Uh, I'm so excited and thrilled here <laughs> to be in the campus of Beiraz Global School, Bangalore. And I'm sure there's going to be a new beginning day for them uh, as the school, school reopens tomorrow. And there's going to be orientation day for all of them. And and there are going to be a lot of promises for the year to come for them and I'm sure they'll be fulfilled. Thank you all of you for your time and it was exciting talking to you all. Thank you. Thank you.